computing outside. Classic Empire head to head down to the line. Cloud computing wins the Preakness. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Spa Babies, presented by Spendthrift. I'm Dan Nolman, along with Nicole Russo, and let's kick off Sunday's 50-cent late pick five with race number six. Here's the field for our Spa Babies race. We're going a mile and a 16th on the inner turf. This race is for two-year-old fillies. We've got 10 in the body of the race. The 11 and 12 entered main track only. Chad Brown has two Irish-bred first-time starters, Nicole. The four Kinchin, the 10 Vagaries. Yeah, and Chad Brown has had a lot of success in recent years with selecting yearlings over in Europe by European sires and bringing them over here. Uh, you think of newspaper of record, among others, uh, a really interesting mix of sires in here, including a couple of freshman sires and really some beautiful female families on the horses in this race. It's a fun race if you're a student of pedigree, kicking right off with the first horse in the field is by a freshman stallion. The number one Avignon is by Mastery. This one is trained by Graham Motion and is a half-sister to Red Lodge, a precocious juvenile stakes winning turf sprinter. Avignon was a $90,000 yearling buyback and what a pedigree. The dam's a half to winter memories. The second dam is memories of silver. Turf is what the female family wants. What are we to expect from Mastery? You know, I do think Mastery will turn out to be a versatile sire. Uh, he's a son of Candy Ride, whose sons are just on fire on the freshman sire list this year with Gunrunner, Unified, Mastery starting to come along with some winners now. Candy Ride can get you a turf horse, can get you a dirt horse. He has grade one winners on both surfaces. I do think that his sons will ultimately prove to be versatile as well. And certainly going along on turf is what this one's female family wants. One of two fillies in the race by Arrogate is the number two, A Little Love and Luck, one that has been training at Monmouth. And she is a half-sister to Victory to Victory, who I believe won the Natalma as a two-year-old, a grade one stake at Woodbine. She's also a half to double blessed, a multiple stakes winner. This is a $135,000 buyback, all turf and class in this pedigree. What are we to expect from the Arrogates? I would expect distance. How about turf? You know, Arrogate just doesn't strike me as a turf type sire. And, you know, he actually does not yet have a winner from this, his first crop of two year olds. I think that we're seeing that they need time to mature, as he certainly did, really breaking out in the summer of his three year old year. I certainly think they'll need the distance as he did. The dam adds some turf ability. Uh, the dam was a sovereign champion herself. As you said, she produced a number of stakes horses, including victory to victory. Uh, I wonder if that could balance out Arrogate's dirt ability, but I do think the Arrogate's need time to mature is what we're seeing. Well, trainer Shug McGay, he isn't known for winning first time out. Check out this formulator fact for his entrance, the number three gunboat, a daughter of war front. Shug McGay, he at this meet, two for two with first time starters, two year olds, of course in turf route maiden special weights, $15, 20 cent ROI. They're all firing. And as we look at the pedigree card, Gunboat has a very strong pedigree. Absolutely. You've got Warfront on top. That's juvenile ability. That's versatility. He can get you grade one winners on both turf as dirt as well. Another one of those stallions. Uh, the dam was a graded stakes winning turf router. And Everything from this family wants to run long on turf. Ironicus on leave and others. Just a terrific uh, fa family raised at Claiborne Farm for the Phipps and Janney families. The number four is Kinchin, one of two fillies in here, trained by Chad Brown. Both of them are by Sire Lope de Vega, a European-based stallion who has done very, very well with juvenile debut runners. Five for ten in North America, and of course, a European stakes-laden pedigree. Yeah, and a lot of route ability in that pedigree. Uh you know, the dam's a half to a couple of stakes performing turf routers. As you said, Lope de Vega, a son of Giants Causeway's son, Shamardal, so well with his first time starters in both North America and Europe. And I think he definitely puts stamina into them as well. And as we said, this has been a nice angle for Chad Brown, two year olds in recent years. Uh, Kinchin Sports, a nice turf work locally, uh, preparing for her debut.
The number five Barrett had a career debut at Saratoga earlier this meet. She did not run very well, although she did have trouble in that spot. She is trained by Bill Mott. And as we take a look at Barrett's pedigree card, she is by Vancouver. Uh, she is a half sister to a couple of black type earners, including the stakes winning turf miler Evil Lynn. I wouldn't be surprised if this filly improves. I just wish that even with the trouble, she ran a little better first out. Oh, certainly. But you know what? I do I do think that these horses deserve a mulligan when they go two turns and debut as she did. That's a tough ask for a young horse. Uh, she doesn't look to have a very long work tab. I certainly think that race probably helped her from a fitness standpoint. And she's very eligible, as a couple are here, to move forward off that debut with the foundation put into her. And here's the career debut for the six, Bali Bell, on July the 22nd for Christophe Clement, dismissed at 15 to 1. Worked out a very nice trip under Javier Castellano, got close to a quick pace, is going to ease out into the stretch, and is going to finish a solid third. We see the uh, eight tail two, who is the number three in this race, a tiring fifth. Good effort for Bali Bell, first time out, could certainly build off that 66 buyer. Absolutely. She's another one very eligible to improve off that good debut. She's from the first crop of Bala of Bali, uh, you know, who did so well before in his native Brazil before coming up to the U.S. where he was a multiple grade one winning turf miler in California. I think routing on turf about a mile, mile and a 16th on turf is definitely what we're going to want to see from his progeny over a kitten's joy mare who was precocious enough to win on the turf at two. Um, I really like what I'm seeing from this Billy. Pearl Earring, the number seven, is a Godolphin homebred trained by Mike Stidham. I'm very impressed thus far with what I've seen from this young stallion. And Pearl Earring is a half-sister to Pixelate, a grade two stakes winner on the turf. So this filly is certainly bred for this, two turns on grass. Yeah, and Astern has really made a nice start to his stud career. Pearl Earring from his first Northern Hemisphere crop of two-year-olds, which has done very well. But he actually started his career in his native Australia, where he was a Group 1 winner the previous Southern Hemisphere season. And from that initial crop, he's got a few stakes horses already, as he already does in, in North America. Um, he's really off to a nice start, a nice son of Medaglia Doro. The number eight, Hale Two, extremely strong pedigree for this Tom Albertrani trained filly. She is a full sister to Sadler's Joy, grade one stakes winner on the turf. As you see, she is a half sister to several other good turf runners. I was surprised that she showed so much speed in her debut. She never got cover pushing the pace in the race we saw where Bally Bell ran third. She tired. I think she's going to run better this time around, and I wouldn't be surprised if they try to get her covered up and make one run. Absolutely. Um, I, you know, I think just the way sort of the race landed, she found herself a little more forwardly placed than they might have want. As we said, not, you know, the, it's a hard task for these young horses to go two turns on debut after showing that speed. I'm sure she got a little tired down the lane. I think this is another one that we can say, hey, that fitness from that first race will put her in good position to improve here. And another one, as you mentioned, that beautiful pedigree, I think all this filly is going to want to do is go long on the turf. The second Arrogate sired filly is the second Bill Mott's second time starter in the race. And that's the number nine, Open the Gate, who goes dirt to turf after exiting the faster division of Maiden Special Weights over Muddy Going on July the 25th. And this horse should really appreciate stretching out by Arrogate from the family of Bernardini. I think that sprint race was just a prep. I'm expecting an improved effort. Junior Alvarado takes the mount. I'm very much expecting an improved effort from this filly. As we said earlier about Arrogate, I think they're going to want every bit of ground they can get. He, a multiple grade one winner at a mile and a quarter. Uh, this from a classic female family, as you mentioned. So I do think the added distance will help. I think they're running on turf because, again, this is where most of the distance opportunities are are at this point of the year. I think she'll improve. I think she'll improve even more when they can find a two-turn race on dirt for her. 
And Vagaries completes the field, the other Chad Brown trained Irish bread. This one sold for $203,000 as a weanling, $217,000 as a yearling. Both of those auctions overseas. And of course, just a very strong turf female family. This one wouldn't be a surprise at all. Uh, I don't see a workout on my PPs in the last three weeks. That's somewhat concerning. I'm going to check the final before I make my final plays. Certainly. And this is another Philly where, as always, I'll encourage you to check out the clocker reports produced by our colleague Mike Walsh and his team for some insight into not just what these young horses are doing, but how they're doing it as they prepare for their debuts. This is a wide open race. Top pick time for our Spa Baby event presented by Spendthrift. You're going with Bali Bell, who ran so well first time out. And I think the tactical speed that she showed is a great advantage going two turns. Her experience gives her an edge. Absolutely. I definitely went with the experience counts angle in this as both Bali Bell and Hale Two, who I respect, who you've made your top selection, both exiting the same race on July 22nd. I really like the way Bali Bell ran. Uh, I think she'll move forward off that debut. She's certainly come down a bit from her line in her first start, but I think four to one is a very fair price on this Philly for Christophe Clement, who often improves horses next time out with Javier Castellano keeping the mount. Hale too, as I said, really also eligible to improve from a fitness standpoint after showing speed in that debut. We have the same trifecta, just a different order. Six eight four one for Nicole, eight six four three for me. I'm hoping that Hale too, Sadler's Joy's little sister, improves second time out for Tom Albertrani. It should be a really fun race to kick off the late pick five, a fifty cent wager at Saratoga on Sunday. It's our Spa Baby race presented by Spendthrift.